What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the third episode of our little podcast here and today I have some friends with me. This is Joenia and her husband Dom. They've been on my channel before. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Yes, mm -hmm. three years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we thought that we would go through some of the red flags and green flags that you guys have sent us over on my Instagram when it comes to dating. And I figured, you know, we have a single woman's perspective and then we have a married woman's perspective and a married man's perspective. So there's a couple different perspectives here yeah. that we have to work with. So uh, Dom has my phone. He has all of your comments and suggestions that you guys sent in. Are mm -hmm. you guys ready? Yeah. I think so. And we should probably say before we start, we were just talking about this before we turned the camera on. We're going to put a little disclaimer here, okay? These are our opinions. Mm -hmm. And even our opinions might differ from each other. This is just what mm -hmm. kind of works for us, so it may not work for you. So if we maybe don't agree with you, don't take it personally. It's just kind of what works for us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, take this all with a grain of salt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is from our experiences. And I'll try to just kind of pick some of these and let you guys do most of the talking. Okay. But I'll chime in when I feel like I want to okay. defend. That works. <laughs> <Or> all right. <not. laughs> You are in control here, Dom. Okay, so, red flag, um, says he's big on communication, usually means they're not. What do you think? I feel like if you have to, I don't know, I feel like verbally saying it means that it's at least at the forefront of your mind, but I don't want to take that as a red flag. I wouldn't take it as a red flag either. I mean, the red flag would be the lack of actions that followed. Yeah. Mm. Um... Because if someone asked me, like, on a first date, like, what's something that's really important in your relationship? And I said, like, communication. I'm big on communication. Yeah, I wouldn't really. think that's a red flag. But mm -hmm. you just have to, like, prove that you mean it. Yeah, exactly. If you say that and then imme immediately you're not, like, not texting or, like, you don't call right. or something like that, you know, that's kind of right. going back on what you're saying. Red flag when your significant other tells white lies frequently. Oh, I hate that. That's definitely. Oh right. no, yeah. I hate that. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's just a red flag um, in general. Right. White yeah. lies are kind of just why. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's a difference between a white lie and an exaggeration oh. of story. I will say. That's I fair. Yeah, like if you're telling a story and you like want to exaggerate it, I guess a little bit to like, you know, don't get in the way of like a good story kind yeah, of thing. Right. But, but it's not like changing the truth. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And what like doing white lies just for the. I never or understood like, like sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I never understood the like keeping things from your partner. It's like why? That's your yeah. that's your partner. If you can't tell them the truth, then like what yeah. What's the point? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Alright, this one we, we talked about a bit before we started. Red flag, he won't post you. And I'm assuming that means on, on social, social media. media. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it depends on the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, like if you are a regular poster on Instagram and you start dating someone and you're getting serious then I feel like you probably should post them if you are, you know, an active user. But if you're someone like me and Dom who don't really use social media, yeah. if you don't post someone, I wouldn't take that as an offense. You just have to know your partner. Exactly. Yeah. If it's someone who posts on their stories regularly mm -hmm. or out with their friends, then that means that they enjoy using social media. Yeah. And so if you have someone in your life that you're proud to show off, then if you're an active user, like Joanie said, then it would be a red flag yes. if they chose to post everything but you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you start to feel like you're like being hidden on purpose and that's mm -hmm. not good, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it depends. I didn't even post when we got married. Yeah, right. So, so context. Yeah. yeah, it depends on yeah. like how but you I'm use very, social media. Yeah, I'm weird, so. Okay. Let's find another one. Green flag goes to therapy. Green flag. I agree with this. Love that. I <laughs> always said that I really think the world would be a better place if everyone gets even just like a month of therapy. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, working, green working flag for me. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Red flag incapable of doing things solo and gets mad when you do. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's, that's a, a huge, huge red flag. flag. You are an independent person yep. um, outside of your relationship. Mm -hmm. um, when you come together, like it's definitely, it's always good to like want to do things together, but I think it's, you know, also good to, you know, do things independently and stuff. So mm -hmm. not hidden, mm -hmm. but independent. Right. You shouldn't, you shouldn't need to be with your person. You should just want to be exactly. with your person. I think my biggest grip with that one was gets mad when you do. Yes. That's uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a red flag. That's just toxic. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How he treats his mother and sisters says a lot about how he will treat you. Yeah. 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 I believe it. 
I don't know if that would be, I so I guess a green flag then would be he treats his treats mom and sister with respect, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that kind of stuff yeah. here. That's one of the first things my mom taught me about like guys and dating. It was like, be careful how he treats his mom. Mm. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think about how I treat my sisters. <laughs> You treat them with love and like, you know, you yeah. guys goof around. It's not disrespect or anything like that. And you yeah. guys all have a great definitely relationship. Definitely more annoying to them, I think. <laughs> well, you're the, the little brother. Yeah, yeah. the yeah, younger brother, true. so. Red flag, they get overly upset if you glance at their phone screen. So yeah. Like, yeah, that's a red like flag. Yeah, that's a big red, red flag. flag. I think it's a two-way street. Like, one, why do you feel the need to look over at mm -hmm. their phone? But two, yeah, yeah, it's a red flag for them to get overly defensive. I don't think it's necessarily wrong, I guess, to be private, but there's a difference mm -hmm. between being private and being secretive. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, getting overly defensive is definitely a red flag because it's mm -hmm. like, why? You should be an open book to your partner. That's I agree. I think. I agree. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, green flag arranges the date instead of asking what you want to do. Oh, we love that. That's yeah. interesting because there's actually another one here, I think, that I saw a red flag that said the same thing. Doesn't ask for your input on the on the first date. I mean, I agree. When a guy asks you out, you don't want to always have to be, especially like a, on the first date, I feel mm -hmm. like it's nice to have something planned for you. Now, if you're four dates in and your opinion is never taken into consideration mm -hmm. or you're never asked, what do you want to do? Then that's a different story. Mm -hmm. But... I can confirm from a woman's point of view that it is nice to just be told like, hey, I made reservations for us at X place for 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I'll pick you up. Yeah, exactly. It's very, something very romantic about that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Do you think getting picked up for the first date is a red flag or green flag or would you rather meet them? Neither. Me personally, it's just a preference thing, but like I don't need you to know where I live yet. Yeah, I agree with that. You know? Yeah. I would feel weird asking that. Yeah. Being like, I'll pick you up where you live. Right. I feel weird. It's weird. I feel like nowadays that would nowadays. be weird. Red flag, overly kissing and touching on the first date. Three red flags on this one. Three red flags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I would agree that it's it's a red flag. Listen, I'm all if if the vibes are good, the vibes are good. I'm not gonna say first date like no kissing. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say that. If it feels right, it feels right. But. For me personally, my comfort levels, there has to be a line. If I just met you that day and, you know, I'm being like held and, and hands everywhere, it's a little too much. I agree. For me. Yeah. Because if it's going really well, well and there are going to be other dates, then there's plenty of time for that. Exactly. You know? I like this one. <laughs> Green flag, benching over 200 pounds. That's, that's Jake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's my friend, Jake. I, That's great. I, res so I responded funny. and said red flag <laughs> because he was talking about himself. That is funny. I love that. So, That's pretty funny. Hi, Jake. <laughs> this, one is, this one's interesting. I'm curious to see what you think about it because I, I know what you're going to think, I think. Okay. Red flag, sharing location. Okay. I saw that someone said this and I was going to bounce off of you guys. So... I actually don't even know whether you share locations or not. We do, yeah. We do. We we so every uh, couple, pretty much that I know, shares location. Like it's just normal. And like my friends have my location, my mom has my location, and I have theirs. So for me, sharing a location is never a bad thing because again, it comes back to well, if there's nothing to hide, then what's the big deal? Mm -hmm. Especially someone who you've been with like long term, like it's a long term serious relationship. And they're like, oh, I don't feel comfortable giving you my location. I think that's a huge red flag. I think so, I think too. There's, I think there's a really big context to this, too. I'm sure. Like, if, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's a it's a good thing. We did it in college, and it was super helpful. But if it's the kind of thing where someone is, like, pressuring, like, oh, share your location with me. Share your location. I want to know where you're, like, where you're going. Especially, like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? True. I think it's a red flag it's overall, up. like, yeah, to, like, not share locations. I think at what point you start sharing locations and start having that yes. conversation yeah. can, you know, be green or red flag, Absolutely. depending on how you do it, how you go about it and stuff. Because I think if you're just dating, you've gone on three dates or something, oh, there's no, really no, no need. No. If like, there's not even, like, a label or anything like that, you know, but, like, if you've been together for, like, you know, six months, I don't think it's a weird yeah. thing to ask. And I think, yeah. you know, it's, I think it's worth having a conversation about. But if you're, like, immediately start dating, you're like, you're my boyfriend now, you're my girlfriend now, okay, give me yeah. your location. Yeah. 
that's a yeah, problem. That's, but if it's like a year, weird. a year and a half in, I don't think it's an issue. Yeah. Also, from experience of being married for almost a year, uh, you just always know where your spouse is. Are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you pretty much should. always know where mm -hmm. you are. Yeah. But it's helpful sometimes to say, green flag, if they know your coffee order, or orders in general. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a green I think flag. that's sweet. I think it yeah. shows that they're paying attention yeah. and they care. Definitely. Yeah. I think and it, it's also nice, you know, if they are feeling generous one day and they want to get you your favorite, you know, lunch or breakfast, yeah. coffee, oh. whatever the thing is, you know, that's Here's... a nice thing to know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one just says, good with kids, four exclamation points. I'm assuming that's a green flag. Uh, yeah. It's a good flag. It's definitely it shows a green flag. sensitivity and, yeah. <laughs> they didn't specify, that's why I'm saying. Probably it's a green flag, yeah. yeah. I don't think being good with kids could be really a be a red flag. flag. Yeah. Yeah. When they expect the girl to pay for her share all the time. That's how that you start this one. Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, well, I would never do that. Okay. I would never do that. Uh, that's just the way I was raised would be that I would pay for everything. Wait, what did it, I'm sorry, what did it say? Was it first date or just It just always? says when they expect the girl to pay for her share all the time. All the time. So I'll context this with, okay. it says all the time, yeah. right? So, I mean, if you're going on a date, especially in the beginning, yes. I personally, well, call me old fashioned, I believe it's the man's, man's responsibility to pay for the meal or the date and stuff. If you've been dating for a while, though, I mean, this yeah. should become a, a shared responsibility now because Agreed. that's going to become taxing on one part of the relationship's finance. Yep. Finances. Absolutely. And like, you know, if you go on vacation, there's no way like I should be expected to pay for your cruise ticket or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Like you should, at some point that switches. I, I think agree. too, like if, if you're at, like, if I'm being asked out on the date and you're asking me to come meet you, mm -hmm. then I, I feel like yeah. it's the nice thing to do as mm -hmm. the person who initiated the date to, like, treat that person. Yeah. I agree with Dom. Like, you know, the first few dates. In the beginning. Yeah. I think it's nice if the man wants to pay. And I, mm -hmm. I think it's, yeah, it shows some chivalry that, like, he, you know, maybe is, you know, just holds those morals and stuff like that. So he's just like, you know, he wants to be nice. But I also think there is a part on the woman's side to also maybe if you're gonna pick the restaurant, maybe you don't pick like the four star Michelin, oh, yeah. you know, oh, restaurant and stuff. There's a part on your side as well maybe as the this, woman to maybe like. Maybe this is why the man know. should pick <laughs> and plan it <laughs> so they can cater it to their. <laughs> but I think it's important to like, even though. I don't want to say it's like a game because it's not, but if a first date, for example, I would, especially if I was asked on the date, like I would, I don't want to say expect, but like mm -hmm. I would appreciate if he treated me right. But I think it's important also to be appreciative. Yes, and of like, course. Like I, I always will like reach for my wallet mm -hmm. anyway. Of course, you always hope that they're like, no, 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 like put it away. But yeah. like, it's important to show appreciation. Not that like, it's just expected. Like yes. you take it for granted. This is a good one. I agree with this one a lot. Red flag when they don't show you the same energy when they're with their friends. Mm -hmm. That's definitely That's a red flag. Big red flag. Yeah. You shouldn't mm -hmm. have multiple different personalities with different people and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. But also, it's like another thing, communication, mm -hmm. context-wise, because maybe they're just like a different person with their friends. They're not used to kind of you know having a relationship, and then like you bring a spouse in, and it's 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 mm -hmm. a different dynamic now, and so. Like, I'm a different person with my high school friends than I am when we're hanging out, the three of us together. Sure. So in sure. the beginning, it might be like, in the beginning, it might come across as a jarring, like, who is this person? You know what I mean? Because you're kind of different when you're mm -hmm. with other people. Yeah, I mean, I think different people bring different sides of you out, but I don't think it's you changing as a person. Like, every girl that has a girls' night with her friends, you know, you, you act, yeah. like, different with your girlfriends than you do, like, when your husband's around. <laughs> right. So that's yeah. normal, but I don't think it's something huge where like you're like, it's it shouldn't totally be where you're person. like completely yeah. like keeping a part of yourself from your partner because then that's yeah. not. Yeah. 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 Uh, I've seen a couple like this. So red flag, he is rude to waiters, cashiers in supermarkets, etc. Absolutely yes. not. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Yeah, that is a red flag. Such a red, red flag. flag yeah. As a person. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. That's yeah, terrible. and you I should treat that. everybody with the same amount of respect yep. and dignity that they deserve, no matter mm -hmm. what their profession is, and no matter if they're in front of the counter or behind the counter. Uh, green flag. Both of you agree slash disagree on marriage, having children, and religion. Yeah, I mean that's a that, great uh, green flag. Excuse me with the agree slash disagree, or I guess like. 
you both have the same views. views oh, that, we'll that's say. very. I think that's very um, important. Yeah. Very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think if one person is like that, they know for sure that they never want to have kids, but you mm -hmm. know that you want to have kids. Um, I mean, that's a that's. What do you do? Yeah, like yeah, there's gonna be difficult to get through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like I mean, not laying it all out on the first date or anything, <laughs> but you know, if there are, yeah. are certain parts of your life that you're not willing to compromise on, I mean, it's I not think it works. Yeah. And then if you find someone that you agree with, obviously that's a wonderful, mm -hmm. that's a great green flag. Do you yeah. think it's okay to call that an orange flag if you disagree? Maybe like a perceived caution, kind of like this should be something we talk about because I mean there are lots of yeah. very successful relationships with people in different religions or sure with different views on. I think marriage is a big one. I think you should yeah. you should be in the same boat there, but. And kids. Um, and kids too, but even that like can change. Yeah, know. but if you have the same view, I would make I would think of it being like a proceed with caution kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe to dig deeper into it as something that should be at least talked about. Yeah, I think the, the when it comes to religion too, though, the thing that I always think about is like it's cool to like disagree and just have like conversations about it. But when it, like kids come into the picture, how do you decide how to raise your your kid do you just not talk about it at all or do well, you just favor one side i think that's that's really hard it becomes then you really got to get into the communication yeah and then green flag on a couple goes to therapy together <laughs> that would be great too yeah. yeah um and that kind of ties into this one so red flag wanting something casual no commitment ever like it's just someone that just doesn't want to settle down ever oh, yeah that's, that's a red says. flag <laughs> it's a red flag yeah. unless you meet someone who has the same mentality mm-hmm then I guess you're green flags for each other. But like, if you're like someone like me, for example, who like wants to settle down and has kids, someone who tells me that they never want to settle down, it would be a huge red flag. Yeah. Exactly. I just want to shout out so. the profile picture of this asker. It's a wonderful <laughs> wedding shot. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. I'm going to throw this one in there. Red flag smoker. Ultimate red flag. I don't know if they mean cigarettes or something different, mm -hmm. but they're calling that a red flag. I think that's a preference. Yeah. Thing. Referencing. Mm -hmm. Like for me personally, I'm, I'm I'm not a huge fan of that because I personally don't do it myself, so I don't know how we would like mesh mm -hmm. very well. But again, if it's like you know what I'm saying, like there's a lid for every pot, so like for someone else that wouldn't be a big deal. What? You've never heard. <laughs> I've no. never heard that. Am I, the, guys? <laughs> there's a lid, there's for, a lid every for every pot. pot. So <laughs> what like, does that even mean? So like there's someone out there for everyone. Okay. Like everybody like there's could a, find their match. There's a are lid. Are you my lid? <laughs> yes. I thought it was the pot. Well, yeah, I guess you could decide who's what, but. Ooh, I like this one. Green flag. Opening doors for you. Active listener. Encourages and supports you. Oh, we love that. Yeah. Yeah. Opening doors for you. That's such a nice little. I love touch. that. You know. Some people don't like that. I don't understand that. I thought yeah. Some people thought it was like mean or. or or something like you could open a door yourself. Mm. I'll open a door for anyone. Yeah, I, I, I like nice. it. Yeah, it's not even like a romantic thing. It's just like a nice thing to yeah. do for people. Yeah. What about opening a car door? Yeah. How do you feel about that? I will not say like, oh, he doesn't open my car door. Like, I'm never gonna talk to him again. Yeah, yeah. But when it happens, I'm like, I'm <laughs> I'm a size five and a half. Like that's you know like that's. You know? I was gonna say actually I'm a size five. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, feel like, I feel that. I you agree. Know? If, if we're going someplace swanky, usually because yes. I don't I will not do this all the time. First of all, it just takes way too long. Sure. It, it's it's absurd. <laughs> like if we're going someplace nice and, and if I'm wearing a suit and tie, then I'm I'm gonna be like I'm gonna pull out all the James Bond steps. Like I'm walking over and opening the door open. Cause then I, like I also that. feel super fancy. Yeah, you know? sure. I agree. Yeah. Like I think it's a yeah. it's, it's nice. It's classy. Nice, it's yeah. class. It's you know? classy. But yeah. it shouldn't be expected all the time. Right. It's not like a deal breaker. Yeah. Do you guys know the sidewalk rule? No. Yes. Oh I do. yes. I know that the yeah. man should always be on the side mm -hmm. of the car. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. another thing too. Where I wouldn't say that that's like an actual like deal breaker. Never talk to you again. What is it? Five and a half. <laughs> really? I love that. That's like a 50-50 thing though. I mean, that could just it's be It's very by rare. It could just be by accident. Yeah, some people just don't even know that that exists. Yeah, but it's just a matter but of it's like, just if you like know a, it, like I know. if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't tell them that if it bothered you? No, I don't think it's something that would bother me. Could you imagine telling someone, you have to stand there because if we get hit, 
you were supposed to right, be which not the, the whole which, point of it. Yeah, yeah. or like if you if like there's like a big puddle, like a splash or like something, you're like there to like barricade. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that better. Um, and now I'm just going off book here. But we were talking about the sidebar grill, and I was saying how there are other little things like that, like what the man does. Mm -hmm. And I was, I read this quote from I don't remember the exact quote, but it was it was something that one of the royal the English royalty said, and his thing was that his style was always just like gray tuxedos and like gray suits and he never wore anything flashy mm -hmm. because his thing was he said that he was literally the accessory to his wife Aww. so he was just there to like be not seen really and mm -hmm. just kind of like let her shine I've never and i thought that, that was really cool and i and i was like i like that you know mm -hmm. not to like flaunt and try to steal the spotlight okay here we go this is this is a good one green flag good relationship with mom red flag too good of a relationship with mom Yes, I mean, a green flag for having a great relationship with your mom, that's never a bad thing. Um, I think there comes a point um, when, you know, I think it just becomes sort of like a trust issue between like, if you don't trust your girlfriend or wife more than you trust your mom. You know, it's, and it's, you should always have a great relationship with your mother. Um, but yeah, I think at some point you're, sh there has to be a shift from like, this is now the most important woman in my life. And honestly, it goes, you know, from the son, but also from the mother's perspective also. Like, you know, she has to let her son go and stuff and build that relationship with his wife and, you know, girlfriend and stuff as well. Yeah, I, I just disagree with the wording of too good of a relationship. Cause too good of a relationship sounds to me like it would be a healthy relationship. Yeah. They probably say, mean unhealthy. I would yeah. say red flag with an unhealthy relationship with their mom. There was another one talking about mom still does everything for him in his 20s or in his late yeah, 20s. Yeah, that's not good. Also, just a side note, it's not a bad thing when relationships have to change because you're in a relationship. And then just going off of that, like if you're a guy and say you have a bunch of close friends that are girls, um, I don't think it's a bad thing that those relationships might change because you start dating someone mm. seriously. Mm. So mm. that's a that's a whole that's other discussion, other discussion. <laughs> in itself. I'm like, all right, let's put this. Down. Let's we'll be that. here for two hours. Yeah. We'll start talking about that. There was another one kind of like that that said, "Red flag." He has a, a best friend who's a girl who doesn't like you. It might have said even hates you. That's oh. a common thing. That is a huge, huge red, red flag. flag. Yeah. Huge. What if she? <laughs> It's hard. I will say it is hard, like, you know, cause if I got into a relationship and one of my guy friends, like, how do I say this nicely? I've had, I have guy friends in my life that when I was in a relationship, they, t they flat out told me that they took a little step back because they wanted to make sure that they were respectful. And as the person in the relationships like me, who kind of like is like in the middle, I can appreciate that it it is a tricky thing mm -hmm. it's a, it's hard to feel like in the middle because you're like oh but that's that's my friend and that's my partner like it's different but it is a normal thing that relationships do kind of have to change not like never to yeah. never yeah. be friends again like mm -hmm. don't talk nothing but like i would never go just in a relationship go have dinner with my guy friend it's exactly. just us two mm -hmm. yeah some people disagree on that me personally i think it's just a respect thing now i want to throw in one more thing with that um you guys might disagree with this, but if I, if you flip the switch a bit, mm -hmm. I think you could possibly say it's a red flag if, like, your sister or your mom doesn't like the person. Well, I think that's a tricky one because, I mean, you obviously, mm -hmm. your mom and your sister are, like, the first women in your life, you know, mm -hmm. that you, like, love and care for and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so when you bring a new person into your life, a new, you know, a girlfriend and stuff, um, obviously you want your mom and your sister to like them, mm -hmm. but I don't think that necessarily has to be the end all be all. They're mm -hmm. looking out for your best interest, but they're not seeing like, I guess, the like the actual relationship. They're seeing it from the outside. So you have to be the best judge of that relationship. I will say too, just to play devil's advocate, that it is true that love does like make you blind and people in your life who really know you can sometimes see things that you can't. Mm. That's true. So. I, yeah, I go both ways with mm -hmm. that. I agree with what you said, but also there are there are instances where people see things that you don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just kind of like listen listen yes. to what they're saying, mm -hmm. and then from there it becomes on you to make that decision. Yeah. Okay. Red flag doesn't put the effort in getting to know your family. Yeah, we don't like that. That's a red flag. Yeah. Especially if you're very family oriented and your family live in the area yeah. or something, and there's like an easy opportunity for you to get to know them. 
you know, if that's a big part of your life and, you know, this new person's gonna start to become a bigger part of your life, they should, you know, it's always great for like that to work together. Mm -hmm. They should want to know. Yeah. Okay. This one says, red flag, when she says she's independent. Hmm. I love, I mean, your perspective. That was like a... I have like no perspective on this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I would, I don't know. I this... don't know what I'd say. You start. So I would say I am a, I am a very independent woman. So there's I'm not gonna I don't want to say that I'm a red flag because I don't believe that that's true. I think in certain situations and even sometimes like people who like w women who have been hurt in the past will use that and be like I'm an independent woman. I don't need you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then that comes across. I wouldn't say it's a red flag. It just it almost is like a little like a defense mechanism. Yeah. Almost. Um, I think honestly. Dating independent women is probably the way to go because you don't want someone who again like I said before who's gonna need you You're gonna want you want someone who wants you mm -hmm. So I think someone who's independent and even an independent man is the same thing Like I yeah. think that that's someone who is their own person who can survive on their own mm -hmm. That's a good thing and then you bring two independent people together and Then you build a life from there. I think for maybe the for devil's advocate reasons if it's the kind of thing where maybe they're like not treating you correctly because of it if they're going a little too far with it maybe mm -hmm. and saying like oh you know i'm not putting a label on this i'm independent mm -hmm. you're That's just kind of like yeah. with me it could definitely anyone claiming that they're so independent that they're like an island and don't need other people that could definitely be a red flag mm -hmm. here's a couple of green flags okay they text or call when they're thinking about you through the day and when they text you that they want to see you small but underrated Yes, yeah. we love yeah. that. That's great. Yeah. We love that. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants to be loved or everybody wants to be wanted mm -hmm. and stuff, so, you know, it's great she to hear special. that. Yeah. Okay, red flag, following so many girls slash bikini models on Instagram <laughs> or liking their pictures. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah. <clears throat> That's a big a red, red flag. flag. That's a red flag. Yeah. It sounds like a pretty <laughs> obvious one that I don't see why men don't understand that <laughs> no it's still it, it is a thing that happens often yeah that it's just it's not it's not healthy it's not healthy it's just training yourself no. to to be open to looking at people who aren't your partner yes and then you start to you're even if you Preach tell yourself even yeah. if you tell yourself that you're not going to you're going to start comparing your partner to those girls and they're not going to be the same because those girls on instagram don't actually look like that I could wow. make a whole video. Yeah, right. Right. this is why you should not. I, I, I question. I question why I'm on social media. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a book. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a good one. Red flag that I totally agree with. When they drive off before you get into your house, I agree. Yeah. Red flag. You I gotta see the door open and like closed What's behind the them and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Also, here's the other thing. If you have the kind of house where you can pull up right front, mm. then I think you should walk them up to the door. Agree. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, red flag. Gets upset when you want to go out with your girlfriends. Big red, red flag. flag. Big time big. red flag. Yeah. That shows like mis un not uh, what's the word mistrust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big red flag. Yeah. And I think then if you're the woman and you're you want to go out with your girlfriends, but now you start to feel uncomfortable even telling your partner that you want to do that because you think that they might get mad or that they might get anxious or uncomfortable mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, then you're changing, you know, a good relationship with your girlfriends mm -hmm. um, for maybe a not so great relationship. Green flag when he accepts your kids even though they are not his. Aww, that's, that's, that's definitely that's a green, green flag. flag. Yeah. That's yeah. definitely a green flag. That shows uh, serious maturity mm -hmm. and actual seriousness in you mm -hmm. and that they respect you. And it goes vice versa, honestly, yeah. for both of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Green flag is they watch ASMR. <laughs> is that really in there? Yes, it yeah. is in there. And I would add green, green flag, flag. They subscribe to Soft ASMR. Facts. Big green flag. <laughs> green flag if they hit the like button. <laughs> Big green flag if you like this video. <laughs> okay, yeah. Red flag when she expects you to buy her a $1,500 purse on the third date. Yeah, that's right. Run. Uh, yeah. Run. There are, are women out there that their boyfriends pay for them to get their nails done. And like, I, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. I respect it, but I could never imagine asking my boyfriend to pay for me to get yeah. my nails done. I just, it's just not me. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I, I work for my money, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, but, if he wants to treat you, like, sure. You know, that's a very I mean, like, nice I wouldn't thing. say yeah. no, mm -hmm. but 
to ask for it, I can't even imagine. Yeah. Okay, uh, this one kind of ties into what we said before. Red flag, seeing their name under every girl's Instagram photo. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of goes back into that. Like, you got to step away from some of those relationships mm -hmm. when you're in another relationship. Just someone. because you're in a relationship does not mean that you lose your ability to be like, hey, that's an attractive person. But what you do with those thoughts, because you could see a picture and be like, oh, they look really good in that picture. You don't got to like it. <laughs> Nobody's putting a gun to your head and being like, I need yeah. to double tap this picture so that they, they so that they and everybody else knows that I find I them like attractive. Mm -hmm. But also maybe maybe depends maybe at on some the type point of photo. You shouldn't be like checking so much what they're doing. Well, you could just see it. Yeah, I guess you're right. If you're like going to look for it, you're probably yeah, setting you're yourself for up it. for some hurt. Yes. But if you just like see it, and it also it to me it depends on the picture. If it's like a half naked bikini picture, that's oh, yeah, different than like them exactly. posting a picture with their like mom. You know, yeah. like it's different. Red flag when they want you to go to their house on a first date. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Big red flag. It just, I mean, it it depends on why y'all are there, right? If you're there with like the intention of like this could be like a relationship, that's like that's one thing. And if you're there with the mentality of you know this is just like a fun one night thing, that that's that's also on you and that's fine. But you got to be on the same page about it. And it's just, if it's a first date and you're like, let's go back to my place, it just, it shows what Where your intentions, intentions are. Yeah. are. Mm -hmm. And it would make me a little wary, for sure. Weary? Weary? Weary. 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 Yeah. It would make me a little weary. I think it's wary. I think it's weary. weary? I think it's wary. Weary is like you're tired. Oh, so wary. Oh. Beware. Be wary. Weary, okay. Uh, red flag, them talking down on things you're passionate about. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a red flag. Red flag. just mean. Yeah, that is mean. You want to be supportive of, of your partner. And I think a green flag, like I'll make my own green flag here off of this. Green flag to me is like being very open-minded. And if it's something that you don't understand, ASMR for example, it's a perfect example, right? As someone who like doesn't know what it is and upon first glance, you might be like, what the heck is this? But instead of being like, that's weird. I want nothing to do with that. Like Google it, like inform yourself, educate yourself about things like that mm -hmm. rather than just being so like close-minded. I like this one. Red flag uses the B slur to describe women. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I'm not even I dignify with that with a response. No. Oh, here's one. A red flag is this is worded a little weird, so I'm gonna try to like translate it. A red flag is so when his closest friends are like not nice. They're like f boys. Like those are his closest friends. So not necessarily saying that the person you're dating is like that, but his friends are. Yeah, that's a that's a red flag. I think I, so too. I don't know if that's like again like a showstopper because I mean yeah. you are your own person still and like mm -hmm. if you the two of you get along great like that's nice. I mean that's more important. But yeah, yeah. like the people he chooses to surround himself with, then I feel like that's kind that's of important. a you know because what what sort of situations are mm -hmm. they might they lead him into? Um, all right, let me see if I can pick a couple. We'll just do like rapid fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, red okay. or red or green. Love bombing. What is that? What's that? I, I skipped that one because I didn't know what it was. Love bombing is very early on in a relationship. Like you've had one date and you're like, I love you. I'm so oh, excited to um, see you. Like you're, uh, you're like you're everything to me. Oh yeah, that's like, a red flag. Yeah, sure. it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like a red flag. Emotional intelligence. Love that. Flag. We love yeah, that. Love yeah. that. Yeah. They wrote... A lot of it is based on that. A lot of the ones we've been talking this, about. Yes. Stem from that oh wait, you skipped the one on the love languages. Oh, well, it was like brief. Oh, okay. It just said when your love green flag when your love languages match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like. I don't know if it's a hot take, but like I feel like I have a little bit of every love language. I think most like, people did. I did. Oh. And it was quality time and physical touch were my top two, and they were like pretty almost I think even. Those are yours. Yeah, those are mine too. But I don't know. I think they're all kind important. of important. Yeah. But yeah, those those are my top two. When he has two phones. Yeah, that's just weird. Why would I don't you really get that. The only thing I, I can think work? of is a work phone. That's the only yeah. thing I can think of. If it's of. not a work phone, then yeah, what's going on? Then you should, <laughs> yeah, know. that's weird. When the ex is still some somehow in the picture. When their ex is still in the picture. I feel like that depends on the context. Very contextual. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if like they have kids with somebody else, like it's kind of like a red flag if they're not in the other person's yeah. life because you have to co-parent and stuff. So. But I think if there are no kids involved. <laughs> yes. I think um, I don't understand me personally how people could still be like best friends with their exes. I just don't get it, um, and I don't think I could personally date someone who was still super close with his ex and like saw her all the time. And like I just, I just don't think throwing I could. this in there. Um, yeah, 
like what about if they were still in communication with like the friends or family of the ex that's very like, hard there's like no right or wrong answer it's just you I have to communicate with each other and figure it out i yeah. feel like it's very contextual very personal on on you like how you feel about it and then you have to kind of gauge what the relationship's like you mm -hmm. know yeah is and it, also is well, it weirdly is it an uncomfortable like inappropriate relationship still mm -hmm. or is it just like you know i don't know like oh we dated in high school 15 years ago right. and now we're just like still close or something I don't no know. i don't think so it's, <laughs> i like my high school ex I, i'm friendly with him but i would never like hang out with him or text him or like be friendly in yeah, that but maybe you like in that way dated someone in high school just because and then you broke mm -hmm. up and then like 15 years later they're just still part of your high school crew or something i don't know you know i, mm -hmm. I think that there's yeah. i'm just coming up with different shot yeah. explanations yeah. on how because it's the if, if the relationship becomes weird that's what makes it weird so yeah it's, i think it also depends on how the split went yeah yeah you know was it amicable was it nasty you know getting along with your friends that's a green flag right? yeah mm -hmm. yeah there was one about that red flag, like not wanting to hang out with your friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, that's a red flag. Um, and like, he, I don't think you have to like hang out maybe on like the second or third date, no. but yeah. like you know, at some point. At some yeah. point, yeah. You yeah. and you want, you know, you should want to like have Get all those them. people. Like, yeah. Be, you know. When he tries to, I'm saying he because that's what it's written, but this could be he, she, whatever. Yeah. Um, when he doesn't try to belittle your feelings or okay. gaslight you. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a self-explanatory. Belittle you, <laughs> yeah, or tell you that your emotions aren't valid. Yeah, we don't, we don't like that. Can, um, we, can we take a step back and talk about what it even means for something to be a red flag? Is this like a red flag you run away, or is this red flag you should start assessing stuff? Because I feel weird talking about some of this stuff and saying like red flag, get out of there. <laughs> a lot of them I feel like are assessing. But there are a few that I There's would a few that there are some that like, like, this are, is not good. Yeah. Yeah. I think belittling and gaslighting is one that kind of makes me very wary. <laughs> very weary. <weary. Worry. laughs> yeah. Yeah, that I would say like you should consider stepping away kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you have more contact than this now because I've just been married or in a relationship for so long. I don't really know. <laughs> yeah. This this wild out there. This wild <laughs> it's wild out there. Um, all right, let's do one more. We'll end on this one. When they're when they start to show jealousy right away, and it says accusing you of flirting, or maybe they're jealous of your ex, and then it says it only gets worse. Trust is a must. Hmm. So I guess early on in the relationship, showing jealousy. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's definitely a red flag, mm -hmm. especially yeah. for someone who you just started dating. So there shouldn't there shouldn't be reasons for you to feel like jealousy yet. Exactly. And if there are, then there it's either past traumas of that person or the person they're dating is really sketchy yeah exactly yeah it's a two-way street but i mean your first reaction shouldn't really be like jealousy if if they've given you no reason to not mm -hmm. trust them you should trust them and not be mm -hmm. jealous of where they are who they're with what they're doing so. yeah agreed I think we did pretty dang good. I think we did okay. I think this video is also really long. It's probably very long. So if you made it to the end, you're you're a real one. Woo. We appreciate it. But thank you guys for joining me. Sure. Yeah, of course. Course. sharing your perspectives. Again, this is all with us. Very personal opinion. Yeah, on yeah. Of this. Um, you yeah. know, a lot of this needs to get dug into a lot deeper. Right. Yes. Don't run right. away from someone just because of something trivial. Yeah. And I'm sure that there are a lot of backstories of a the lot. people that wrote these. I'm yeah. sure they could go on and tell us our, their, their stories. So, like Dom said in the beginning, take everything with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. This was just upon our first glance, our opinions. So, um, but go ahead and leave us your thoughts yeah. down below. If you mm -hmm. agree with us, if you disagree with us on any of the points we talked about, uh, we'd love to read them. Go ahead and turn that like button yeah. into a red flag. Because it, it turns red when you oh wow when you like wow okay. all right guys well that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching again thank you to my lovely friends for being here with us <laughs> and if you want them to come back then just let them know in the comments we'll be back <laughs> if you guys want it i'd like to come back either way okay we'll be back either way all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye, bye.